There are a lot of people out there today saying that there are other Gospels, the Gospel of Mary, the Gospel of Thomas, and they bring these up to marginalize the Bible, to say that, hey, these are part of the Bible that you're missing as Christians. What do you say? Yeah, I was watching the uh, History Channel last week, and there was a show by an individual who claimed to have discovered how Jesus got the idea for a resurrection based on what he claimed was a first century uh, tablet, an inscription on a tablet. And all I can say is it was consistent with fifth grade science. It was very, very poorly documented, but it served to remind me that there's a very gullible audience for those who want to marginalize the gospel. Now that said, let's address first, before I go into those, let's address first this myth that the New Testament came about by powerful church leaders at the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD. How did the New Testament come about? We know the documents were completed by 70 AD. The letters had gone out and that they were completed by 70 AD. There's many reasons why we know this and why scholarship is in agreement here, but one of the main ones is that Jesus prophesied the destruction of the temple in Jerusalem. We know the Romans came in in 70 AD and destroyed the temple. Had the documents been written after that event, the apostles would have been quick to point out, hey, look, Jesus' prophecy has come true. And of course, none of the New Testament or the New Testament uh, documents mention it. Now, that said, the letters go out, the sheer volume of the church, prop, the, the church propagating these documents, reproducing these documents by the end of the first century are in the thousands. The documents were read, the documents were memorized, the documents were duplicated and then sent out to other churches. The volume helped, helped the church, the New Testament church, defend against frauds and impostors because there were so many manuscripts available. By the s- second century, it was it, it, they're numbered in the thousands how many mm-hmm. manuscripts they were. So if a fraud came in, they were able to check against that. So we know the New Testament did not come about by powerful church leaders, although there was a uh, church council meeting in 393 and then 397 in Hippo and Carthage, but all they did was confirm, uh, ratify what was already believed to be authoritative by the church. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss a few of these Gospels. First, the Gospel of Thomas. Uh, The Gospel of Thomas was discovered in 1890 in Egypt. It's dated around the beginning of the third century. Why is that? First of all, it quotes from 14 New Testament books. But then it also quotes from Titian, which is dated 175 AD. So we know it had to be written after that. Okay, Peter, there is very little cohesion with the Gospel of Peter and the New Testament. It talks about a speaking cross, a giant angels, and there's very little cohesion there. And there's consensus once again, dated about the third century. The, the Gospel of Mary, nothing in the Gospel of Mary can trace it back to the first century. Once again, most scholars agree about 200 to 250 AD on that document. Gospel of Judas, uh, Craig Evans, he was recruited to uh, decipher the codex. He said there was consensus among the committee that deciphered it, that the document is dated about the beginning of the third century as Mm. well. Uh, Gospel of Mark, Jesus papers, these were all been exposed as frauds. Now, before I close, let me read from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 15. Now, before I do, let me mention, this is written about 64 AD. We know that because Peter was executed in Rome 67 AD. So this is written before that, obviously. Verse 15 says, And consider that the long-suffering of our Lord is salvation, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, uh, has written to you, as also in his epistles, speaking to them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and unstable people twist of their own destruction, as they do also the rest of the scriptures." So here is Peter already referring to Paul and the New Testament documents before the end of the first century. Mm -hmm. And we know also uh, that Clement, the uh, Archbishop of Rome, is already quoting from most of the New Testament by the first century. So, in summary, New Testament is the testimony of the first century apostles. These other documents dated way after and really have uh, uh, little consistency. No, no serious scholarship. Right, and they were never considered to be included in the New Testament documents. But they are convenient for people to gravitate to who want to not Again, the marginalize Christianity.